Hi, this is Cooking Appa. I'm actually going to show you how I make uh, dried. This is a uh, dried uh, radish, but 80% here are the sweet, sweet type. There's about 20% which is the salted type. Okay, and there's some uh, garlic and red chili here. Uh, you're supposed if I if you can actually choose to stir fry all this together, but uh, this one will take you minimum half an hour. So I'm going to uh, deep fry my radish to make it dry to make to uh, disperse the water uh, soon in the shortest time. So you heat up the wok and you will only need a medium heat for this. Okay, you don't want to you don't want to burn your radish. So when you are frying things, it doesn't really matter when you actually throw it in unless the heat is too hot. Okay, when it is cold, you can also throw it in, no problem. Because whether or not your food, your, your, your ingredient here will, will start eating oil is the timing where you take it out from the oil. When you take it out for the wrong timing, example, when you uh, you have fried it halfway and then you lower down the heat, then you will start eating oil. Okay, so it doesn't matter when you put it in, you can put it in much earlier, like what I did just now, when the oil is even still cold. Okay, so now we will actually slowly let the heat going up. I choose to deep fry this because I need to save time. Uh, I'll probably need less than 10 minutes for this. If you uh, stir fry it, if you stir fry this thing, you will need minimum 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Okay, but it's very fragrant. It goes very well with, uh, you can just prepare this and it goes very well with the porridge. All right, but actually, I'm actually today going to add this, add this on top of my fish. All right, it's really up to you. Very often, there are always, always few different uh, ways of eating. a bit okay so what you're doing here you just want to uh, force all the water out to dry out and dry out the radish okay you need to dry out the radish after that you can actually stir fry together with, uh, with the garlic and the chili party okay So I'll stop this video here and continue when the, the thing is almost dry up. Thank you very much. Okay, this is like about five minutes later. You can actually start seeing my uh, red dish, uh, red dish has become crispier right now. Okay. It's almost done. And off the fire, off the heat. Continue from where we left just now. Throw in the crispy uh, dried radish. Throw in the garlic and chili. You can have more garlic if you want to. Give it a stir. Okay, if you don't use deep fried method just now, it will take you minimum 30 minutes, okay? To reach this kind of consistency. Very nice fragrance. Okay. So you will just do a little bit of uh, seasoning. A bit of salt. Followed by sugar. 
that's it, nothing else. straight away with porridge or you can put on top of a fish then you become a dried reddish uh, fish okay thank you very much okay now I'm continue, going to continue to steam my thread fin fish okay I actually cut it uh, half like this so the uh, more surface will be able to contact with the steam so it won't take too much time um, this, size, this size I think should be uh, able to be cooked in about 8 minutes or so so let's do this I'm going to cook it using this plate first after that there will be you see some fishy water coming up here we are going to remove the fish and put it onto another plate okay you can see from here the steam starts coming up Now it's about eight minutes right now. Let's see if my fish is already cooked. Very hot. Over the handle. Alright, let me see. So how do you know whether uh, the fish is already cooked or not? Actually, just by looking at it, you see the ice is already poaching out. Okay. And you see all the fishy water coming out here. So use a chopstick. Poke it into the uh, thickest, the thickest uh, portion, and put it in between your lips and uh, upper lips and uh, nose. If it's hot, meaning inside is already cooked. Okay. If it's cold, meaning inside is not cooked yet. Now it is actually hot. Okay. So it's actually ready. I'm going to remove this from the steam. See all the fishy water here. I don't want all this. Okay. Plate. I'm going to slowly remove move my fish over. Okay. Move my fish over to this plate. Right. See all the fishy water coming up. All this, yeah. I don't want all this thing. It's very fishy. It's making your fish fishy. Okay. And I have made a bit of sauce here. A bit of uh, soya sauce. Uh, soya sauce, salt and, and uh, sugar together with some water okay, and sesame oil okay. Okay. and these are the dried uh, dry, uh, red dish that we have uh, stir frying just now with garlic and chili powder Pour it over the whole fish. You will notice later the, the dry radish will taste actually bad, even better than the fish. Okay? There you go. Okay, and there you go. Can you all see? Can you all see clearly? Okay, so this is the steam uh, uh, thread fin fish with on top of uh, dried radish okay you can also prepare this for your doing your Chinese New Year uh, you don't have to do a Teochew steam or Hong Kong style steam all the time alright so if you like my my video please go to my you can share out to your friends on your Facebook and you can also please go to my Facebook uh, cooking up our Facebook fan page to click the like and follow button and also go to my cooking up our YouTube channel to click the subscribe button together with the notification button the little bell in order to follow all my future simple cooking ideas all right 
Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you all.